Hey there guys, so today we have Darwin's top 10 beers of 2015. It's been an absolutely amazing year for beer and this list was actually pretty hard to make. So I will start off by saying that this list is really more about a brewery and the certain beers it does in a style. So each slot might share a couple beers instead of just one beer. Uh, yeah, so we'll start off. Let's try to keep this short. Uh, number 10, we have Good Morning from Treehouse Brewing. Um, this beer just takes double shot to another level. That maple character is just really awesome. I will say that I personally don't think it's necessarily worth the hype. It's currently, I, th I believe, number one rated beer on Beer Advocate, but um, absolutely amazing beer. It's up there also with uh, Blend One and Triple Shot, which are, were also released this year. But if you're really looking for the beer, I think you're just uh, should be happy with Double Shot. I think Double Shot, that's my favorite coffee stat, and I think it's just as good. So number nine, we have Trillium's Headroom Double IPA. This is a bottle of vicinity, but Trillium is one of my favorite hoppy breweries. They made some of my favorite double IPAs this year, obviously including Headroom and Vicinity. And then they also had one of my favorite IPAs this year with Double Dry Hopped Melcher. Number eight, we have Side Projects, Saison du Fermier. One of the more exciting breweries I'm looking forward to in 2016. I mean, this beer was just absolutely amazing. The barrel character, the, the tropical fruits, the funk, it was just amazing stuff. I really look forward to trying more from Side Project. Number seven, we have Hill Farmstead's Civil Disobedience 11. Uh, this was probably my favorite sour of the year, uh, barrel aged farmhouse ale slash sour. But the blends he's doing and the barrel aging process is just absolutely amazing. This shares its slot along with Civil Disobedience 9, Civil Disobedience 15, uh, Works of Love Sarah, just all these amazing barrel aged saison, uh, uh, saisons. I highly recommend you check them out. And number six, we have Toppling Goliath's Sosis. Uh, again, another one of my favorite double IPAs of the year. Uh, this beer was just as good as King Sue, if not better. Um, again, a hobby brewery outside of New England doing just absolutely world-class, amazing stuff. And so, number five, we have Grimm's Tesseract, double IPA. Uh, yeah, 2015 was an amazing year for New York breweries, and Grimm was uh, definitely one of the reasons for that. They're my favorite brewery in New York. And their double IPAs were just spot on this year. This year they pumped out a bunch of them and each one was better than the other. Uh, they're so good. And this shares a spot with After Image, Simcoe, and Two Batches of Cloud Busting, and Force Field, and uh, so on and so forth. All the amazing beers that Grimm put out. I really look forward to 2016. Uh, hopefully Lambo Door soon, so awesome stuff. Number four, we have Bourbon County Rare. Uh, yeah, I wasn't able to shoot a review of this. Uh, I actually had it at a bar, but what an amazing beer. It's not necessarily a completely different beer from Bourbon County. It really very much is Bourbon County, but you really have to think about, you know, the best vintage age bottle you've ever had, the best, you know, bottle of the beer you've ever had. It really is just Bourbon County uh, it, it, at its most perfect state. It really was an amazing, amazing uh, Bourbon County. Actually had 2015... Bourbon County on tap next to Rare, and Rare just crushed it. Um, again, not necessarily a very different beer from Burm, what from, uh, people are familiar with with Bourbon County, but it really just is the most spot on Bourbon County experience you've ever had. Number three, we have Three Floyd's Vanilla Bean Dark Lord. Uh, yeah, what an amazing beer. The most amazing desserty barrel aged imperial stout that you've ever had. Vanilla, marshmallow for days. Uh, just an amazing, amazing beer. Uh, probably won't be trying it again, but you know. Number two, we have barrel aged Abraxas from Perennial. You guys probably already know I'm a huge fan of spicy stouts, and this beer just takes it to another level. Um, the barrel character, the intense amounts of vanilla, the balance of the cinnamon and the, the pepper flavor, everything uh, with this beer is amazing. Just one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, there you go. My favorite barrel aged stout of the year goes to barrel aged Abraxas. So we have number one. There we go, guys. Team Green Treehouse Green IPA. Uh, yeah, I was blown away the first time I had it, and 
it you know never ceases to amaze me how good this beer is it is my desert island beer it is a beer that i want to always have um you know even with the limited releases green still stands for me as number one it's so amazing um and it's so amazing they put out this consistently. So, I mean, this beer also shares its slot with beers that were just as good, including beers like King Julius and In Perpetuity and uh, Curiosity 18, Curiosity 22. Uh, just so many hoppy beers from Treehouse, but I you know, chose this one as number one. So, yeah, uh, there you go, guys. I try to keep it short. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, post below. I'll post below uh, also honorable mentions. There, I have a lot of honorable mentions, so I'll post that below. Uh, I'll post reviews to whichever ones that are reviewed below. And then, uh, yeah, I just want to hear your top 10 list of the year. And then if you have any questions, what you think about these beers. Uh, until next time, guys, cheers. And I really look forward to an amazing 2016. Later.